In this video, I'm going to take a look at solving this exponential equation 8 to the x plus 2 equals 4 to the x minus 1. So the first thing we want to look at is these bases here. We want to identify what's happening with these bases. And right now I have a base of 8 and a base of 4. So those are not the same. So there's a couple different ways that we can work around that. We can use some natural logs in some scenarios. But in this scenario, think about 8 and 4. And if there is some sort of base to some exponent that we can rewrite 8 and 4 with, trying to maintain the same basis, if that kind of makes sense. So what I mean by that is 8, can I rewrite that as 2 to some power? 4, can I rewrite that as 2 to some power? And if I can, then what would happen is I'd have the same bases on both sides of my equal sign, and then there's a little rule that's going to happen with that. So let's think about this. 8 is 2 to the third, 2 times 2 times 2. 4 is 2 to the second. So since I can rewrite these with the same base of the exponent, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this is going to be 2 to the third, and then we also have this x plus 2, so this is going to be times x plus 2, because so I'm just rewriting 8 as 2 to the third. Then on this side, 4 is 2 to the second times x minus 1. So since I was able to rewrite them, now I have the same bases. So if the bases are the same, then that means the exponents have to be equal to one another. So I'm just going to set the exponents of 3 times x plus 2 equal to 2 times x minus 1. And now we're just solving an equation. That's all we're doing from here. Solving a multi-step equation. So I'm going to distribute the 3. You get 3x plus 6 equals, I'm going to distribute the 2, 2x minus 2. Keep solving for x. Nothing too fancy here. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I get 3x minus 2x is 1x plus 6 equals negative 2. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, giving me x equal to negative 8. And there it is. We get x equal to negative 8. Wouldn't it be the worst thing in the world to just maybe take a second and check your answer. Like, I don't think it would hurt anything. So let's see. This is going to be 8 to the negative 8 plus 2 equal to 4 to the negative 8 minus 1. So this is going to be 8 to the negative 6 equals 4 to the negative 9. So I have 8 to the negative 6 and 4 to the negative 9 we get the same thing. So you could rewrite it, obviously you could you know, rewrite it like how we we're doing here, but we do get the same thing. So th that's a little bit of a rough way to check our answer, but those are equal statements. So our solution would be good. So the challenge here though, is having to find this, like trying to rewrite eight and four with the same base. Now, sometimes it's not gonna be able to, like what if we had something like eight to the x plus one and three to the x minus one something like that just making up something off the top of my head um, that's not going to work out like we're gonna have to do something a little bit different because i can't rewrite these with the same base like three to some power and then three to some power to get eight like that's not going to work so luckily with this one we were able to do that we were able to rewrite eight and four as a base of two two to the third two to the second and then solve because we got the same bases so solving exponential equations when those bases are able to modify and create something equal. There's our answer, x equals negative 8.